everyone, it's Mrs. Harwood and I'm back with another video to share with you the art project that my first grade created at Sacred Heart Catholic School for our Fine Arts Night. So in this particular project, um, they learned about the artist Paul Clay. And Paul Clay is from the Bauhaus movement. The Bauhaus movement is an art movement that took place from the 1940s to the 1960s. And when I introduced this project, we watched this adorable um, cartoon show called Maddie and Dada, it's on YouTube. And uh, Maddie and Dada go through the, their adventures um, kind of through time travel and they meet artists of the past. And so in this particular episode, they met the artist Paul Clay. And so the students watched Maddie and Dada interact with Paul Clay, and they were able to view examples of his work. And then they also learned a little bit about Paul Clay's style. So Paul Clay, in the video, um, the students hear that he liked to use balance. So balance was one of our art vocabulary words that we focused on. And in balance, when we talk about balance in art, um, it can mean something that is symmetrical, like this image right here. So, you know, both sides mirror one another. Okay, so if we folded this in half, they would meet. But then balance can also mean in art, if something's happening on one side, there's something happening on the other side, but it doesn't mean that they have to mirror one another. They don't have to be symmetrical. So in art, Balance does not mean symmetrical. It just means if something's happening on one side, there's something happening over here to balance them out, okay? But they're not necessarily symmetrical. So the students learned about that. The students use soft pastel to create their art. I've got some soft pastels right here. And soft pastels are basically like a chalk. Um, they give off a lot of dust, so the art room is extremely messy when we're working with this because um, there's dust kind of flying everywhere. Um, and the students have uh, a lot of blending ability with soft pastels. That's one of the reasons why I like using soft pastels. Um, plus, the students have a lot of control over them because they're rather small. A lot of times, the ones that we have in class, I'll have them um, break them in half. These are actually kind of hard to break in half, um, but the ones in class are very soft. And so we can break them right in half and it just allows the students to work uh, re in really small spaces and have a lot of extra control over um, their medium. Um, soft pastels have great blending ability. So the students had an opportunity to uh, basically make new colors, which is always um, a pleasant surprise. And once they start making new colors, they, they become um, intrigued and want to keep making new colors over and over and over. So um, they had the opportunity to work with soft pastels. And then um, we worked on our construction paper. I like to use construction paper with soft pastels because the pastels kind of need something to stick to. And so the soft pastels, um, especially, um, they give off a lot of dust. And so the students were instructed to color parts of their paper. And then I always say, push the pastel dust into the paper. So they're, they're rubbing it into the paper, but if the paper's too silky smooth, it, there's nowhere for the pastel to go. There's nothing for it to stick to. So a nice, you know, medium grade of construction paper has a, a really nice tooth to it. And so it, it allows the pastel to kind of seep into um, the fibers of the paper. So we worked on 12 by 18 paper. And um, throughout the project, um, as we start setting up our paper, we watched a video um, by Deep Space Sparkle, and in this particular lesson with the um, Clay's cats, she, um, Patty at Deep Space, Deep Space Sparkle, actually shows us the children step by step how to draw the cat and how uh, how to use up the majority of the space. Because a lot of times when we're working on paper this big, the students draw really small. 
And so we were instructed to fold our paper in half and then open it back up. And then we kind of worked with one section at a time. Okay, so we drew something here and then we drew something here. So we broke the drawing up into very small manageable chunks. And then we also did the same when it was time to color. When, when young students are looking at a piece of paper this big, it can kind of become overwhelming and you don't really know where to start. So I always tell the students, and you'll see in their images in just a minute, think about everything you've drawn as a different section and work on one section at a time. And especially with pastels, we want to color at the top of the page and then work our way down. That way we're not dragging our arm through our pastel. So you, you always want to work from the top of the page and then color down. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share with you the work that the students created. So remember, this is inspired by uh, Paul Clay's Cat and Bird. And so this is called Clay's Cat by our first grade at Sacred Heart. The first one up is Camden. Leanna. And you'll notice some of the students will add extra details, like Leanna added a, a little bow at the top. They're always encouraged to add extra details to make their art unique. This is Mark. Adeline. Amory, Robin, Clarissa, Bryson, Noah, Lexi, Charlotte, you can see she added a little extra detail as well with the crown. Kind of a little starburst background. Selena. Sterling. Annie, Angel, Aniston, Gabby, she gave her cat a little tuxedo. Jalen, Ryan, kind of has that red, white, and blue theme, Pierre, also another red, white, and blue theme. Kaylin. Zoe, oops, Elizabeth, and Jackson.
And that completes uh, first grades, clay cats. I hope that you've enjoyed uh, watching them or viewing them uh, as much as we did creating them. And I hope everybody is safe and healthy. And I will be seeing you guys very soon in our next video. Have a good day.